admit, I was nervous at first about doing videos. I'm not camera shy or anything, but I never really used iMovie. I still feel like a beginner, especially after comparing my videos to my classmates, but in watching theirs, it gave me an idea of what to do and what not to do. I'm comfortable with my personality on screen, and I want to continue with that because to me it adds more to the overall presentation. I learned that it's okay not to be perfect and that it's a learning process. My fellow teammates, along with Professor Deason, have offered me some useful tips on ways to improve, such as voice clarity, background noise, and slowing down when talking. Practice only makes perfect, so I plan to play around with iMovie so I can become more familiar with it and record myself in hopes of becoming a more efficient presenter. Our discussion board of comparing two styles of presentation really got me thinking about the way that I present. Steve Jobs really had me feel like, wow, there's a lot more that I can do if I want to make that type of impression. I came to the conclusion that I'm more business than pleasure. It seems to have worked for me, but when watching Jobs, I realized I need to be more laid back. When presenting during meetings, I feel like I get my message across, but there's always room for improvement. I'd like to do trial and error to see what strategies work and don't work. For example, I have always filled my time slot with information, which I thought was a good thing. But after reading Presentation Zen, I would like to try the Harahachi boot technique where I end my presentation with time to spare. Dr. Deason gave me some good advice saying that if something doesn't work for you, then it's not the right thing for you to do. I appreciated that because that told me that I need to do what's best for my audience and focus on making them comfortable and attentive. I know everybody is different, but the key for me is finding the most effective strategies that bring out the best results. Our technology integration video was useful because I got to see myself in action. I've never seen what I look like teaching and I noticed something I'd like to change about my approach. I integrate technology in my classroom by utilizing interactive PowerPoints because my students comprehend the material easier when learning with computers. I offer hands-on assistance and it helps the students complete their tasks. However, I'd like to be able to do that and teach the entire class at the same time. One-on-one -on -one assistance requires time, making it difficult to teach a full lesson to a class. But in watching my video, I noticed that if I was to use a smart board, I would be able to be a more effective teacher and it would allow me to move from student to student more efficiently while getting through an entire lesson. I'm working on doing that because I want to be more effective now, and I feel that this will truly help me work on the way I present to the students and their individual needs. Overall, I feel like I have learned quite a bit this month from Dr. Deason and my teammates in regards to how I can become a more successful presenter, so I thank all of you for your knowledge and tips.